This is London Calling. I'm Tash, and this is Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. Today, we're talking about policing, by consent or by force for profit. Ever since Sir Robert Peel created the police force as we know it in 1829, London has relied on the Metropolitan Police Service for peace, stability and justice. They weren't perfect, but at least there was some democratic control. Now there's a new sheriff in town. If you're a victim of crime or you just want to silence a peaceful protest, there's a new police force to turn to. Albion. And they're about as far from the old-fashioned Bobby on the Beat as it's possible to get. When Hassani handed over London to Nigel Cass, many people were surprised. But we weren't. London has been up for sale and privatisation for years. The only difference is that now the private companies have guns. So how did it happen? What does it mean? How can we reverse it? And what's the price of justice? On Buccaneer, we can seal everyone's full names for their own. and justice in pre-crisis Britain. One of the kind of classic hallmarks of a, a fascist leader is having their own private army or police force. You know, it is in a, in a democracy, the state tends to have a monopoly on violence, and that's not what happens when a state fails. You know, you end up with people running their own.